TV. I've got two erudite uh, gentlemen here, politicians and also Edo uh, citizens. Uh, they are so interested in uh, this election now because um, all of us are well, all interested. So we must ensure that we allow peace uh, to reign. Without peace, there's no way we can get it right. And of course, without peace, there's no way we can even come out on uh, the election day uh, to vote. As it stands now, we've got about 60 days to the election, and uh, those 60 days are reducing into hours, reducing into minutes, and of course, reducing into seconds. So before you know it, it's going to be the 21st of uh, September 2024. Uh, so the big question is, how ready are you? Do you have your PVC ready? Well, when next I come on this show, I'm going to let you see my PVC. Uh, it is my pride. <laughs> it is my property. So that's my power, the political power that I have to uh, vote in my president, uh, vote in my governor, and of course, uh, vote in my uh, local government chairman. So you also need to have your PVC. Always let it be with you so that it can also be your pride. But uh, in a situation whereby you go around to sell your votes, then of course your PVC is no longer your pride. Well, join me to welcome uh, this uh, morning. I've got to Sahan Obarai. He's a politician and uh, he's a member of uh, the Campaign Council of the All Progressives Congress at the state. Osaha Obarai, you welcome to the program. Thank you so much, Brother Ivan. God bless yeah. you. Good morning, Dr. Osaha. And also, to have got a key, you know, Yovan Dosa, Festus, a business expert and a politician. And uh, by way of uh, connection, one way or the other, is also a member of the PDP Campaign Council. APC. I'm not APC PDP. Campaign Council I'm now. PDP. I'm APC. <laughs> All right, you, you're welcome to uh, the program. You're welcome. Good morning, viewers. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, so um, we are going to look at um, what is going on, you know, in the election. And of course, uh, build up to the election and how prepared we, we are as uh, uh, the political parties of course, uh, the electorate. So I'll start with uh, Osaham Barai. Yeah, thank you so much, Robert. I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak to our people this morning, as usual. I think um, the election campaign going on in Edo is no longer a Tea Party issue. It has turned uh, bloody and uh, even messier citing the case of what happened a few days ago where so many people had guns injury so maybe two trying to dodge those noises also fell and uh, had fractures and even to our greatest surprise a very notable police officer was also shot in the midst and died so it's so painful that election has turned into this type of issues, not what we expected from the very day just now, corp of uh, politicians and youth. Because if after since 1998 campaign, 99 campaign, we still also think this way, where we carry arms to to attack those that were supposed to vote for us, those that we are, we are, so we are preaching the change for. It goes to show that we are still back with what we thought is going to for the Nigeria of the future, we think for the very just now. I think all party are top job, but mine is that uh, the, the, it, instead of shooting gun, why not let us uh, shoot our manifesto? Why not let us shoot what we can do? Why not let us tell the people that from this we are going to this, from this phase we are going to the next phase? Because... Uh, one of my very, very admirable political mentor and leader, Senator Gilzame, his favorite song during campaign is an uh, agree campaign. You don't need to quarrel about it. Because you talk your own, I talk my own, we move together. So, because in all, we are a do. In all, we are not, we are not in Jamaica, we are not in India, we are a do. And who do we want to govern? A do. Why are people going to, going to vote for us? A do. So why try to maybe hurt the feelings of it, though? So it's a, it's a shameful act that at this age, even when we want to also try to castigate or quarrel with our leaders, we should, we should also think that uh, the youths are the ones that are me for the very just now not happy with, because I'm not sure 
a leader of 70 something years who can hold a gun, even mm -hmm. on this point, mm -hmm. to, to even dodge or try to shoot a gun. What they do is to take their kids overseas, give them good life, and mobilize those youths who just think as if maybe if you tell them, no, we work not day, they don't give us work. So even if work not day, does that mean you're going to risk your life for a peanut? I'm sure the money that was shared to them on that day might be exhausted now. No matter the, if you have given them five or 200,000 on that day now, because of the death that happened, and those are in the same. Some are fled they do. Mm -hmm. And if, if they do, to go to Wari or even go to Auchi or go to Kogi to stay, the expenses will be higher. So the money is going. And the leader that, that was so attentive to you a few days to this issue, calling that leader to this today will not pick. We'll tell you you are disturbing. That he didn't send you this. That same youth again will come back and say he regretted this. And in the next act, also doing the same. So when is going to be the time for you to sit upright? To say no. Because if I reject it, my advance reject that offer. My brother will reject that offer. I'm sure the leader will start thinking right to say, no, I think these people are now more sensible. Mm -hmm. Because if you continue this way, I, I do sit with them sometimes they tell you, no need, just leave them. When four years come, we know how to, we know how to tackle them, we know how to answer them. If they see money, their mind will change. And it still falls on them to say, truly, that gimmick of them still works. So until the youth wake up, not a leader any longer, we've called leader, 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 leader. Not the youth, it's hard time they sit up right to say, no. Things have been moving this way. Let's also move this way. If the youth took our time, I'm not saying we should, we should go to the street to start fighting, protesting or what. There are ways we can use our own notion to say, no, don't give us money, leave it, thank you. Because the hunger will still continue. The money shared about four years ago in the election. I'm not sure you still have even anything traceable. If you have bought a car for, with that money four years ago, that car is no longer have the value of what you bought four years ago. Mm. So and the, the highest they can give to you is a car. Okay. No okay. one can set you up to say, I want to set you up, do this job for me, and in the next 50 years of your life, everything will be okay. They can do that for you. What they give to you is peanuts. And they can't even give, good, give that to their lady, their sidekicks. It's impossible. So they see you as a misquant. And once they see you as a misquant, because you have... You, you are the one that gave yourself that word, misquant. Because you come to the house not totally dressed and you don't add value to the table. What you come there to do, maybe you are smelling cigarettes, smelling moroko, and you see them drinking, the next thing you start turning. So they just already know that this one has no value. They can't discuss anything with you. When the time for even sharing opportunities will come, no need for them to share. It's for them to say, okay, we carry this revenue. We need to find bus drivers for tickets. That guy at that time we are using, call him not to come and get, they put you again in a place of danger mm. where your life will be at risk. Is it not a time you sit down to think? Okay, uh, let me pause you because uh, you see, the whole situation we find ourselves in the country, particularly in Edo State as it relates to this election now, cut across all the political parties, yeah. um, also especially uh, the two major political, I don't, I don't like using the word major, but uh, uh, the two parties now, that's each other's uh, neck, uh, the PDP and uh, the APC. Uh, right from what happened a few days ago, it's been trade of words. Uh, we saw whereby some notable big politicians in the state saying, hey, is the PDP, why the other person saying it's the APC? Now, uh, uh, Osabo, uh, let us look at it now, uh, because we're looking at uh, campaign councils, uh, you know, the message that they pass to their supporters and, and all that. Now, it, it appears that this campaign, as is going on now, that politicians are not telling their supporters that don't do this, don't do that. Don't you think so? Uh, Mr. Evans, I'm going to support you in a way. But before I go deep into that, don't forget Olumide was attacked in a donut. No, what? Olumide mm. was attacked in a donut. Yeah, that's why I said it's... Okay, it's now, the that's... reason why I have to go back to that memory is because the, there is a kind of a controversy, like you said. The base wings in the APC are saying the PDP was responsible, those in PDP are saying the APC was responsible. The question is, who attacked Olumide when he went to campaign the Adonot? So let's start drawing strings from there. Mm. You see, yeah. it is pathetic. It's a thing that saddened my heart when I see Ayub being slaves mm. to their father. 
Mm. If he is your godfather politically, he's your father. Just like we say father-in-law. Your father-in-law is your father. Then if you are saying, I am your son-in-law, then I am your son. So, variably, if you are to match godfather to me, if you are my godfather, you are my father. So, you shouldn't call your son and say, go to the airport, carry arms, go and welcome some person for me. If your father sent you some error, you're going okay. to tell father you're not going. So, when it comes to what happened that day at the airport, I'm going to be indifferent to a lot of talk, a lot of ideas people have been postulating. Because I, for once, cannot go and welcome anybody at the airport, even if he's the president. If you are coming to a those state as the president, come with your family, with your press, your security details. If we are to receive you as APC, okay, we'll not call on the state APC chairman. Go and receive the president. The state APC chairman cannot make one or two calls Ego, Oredo, Chairman, please be with me. Not packing youths, rifles, not packing hoodlums. They were not just there, they were there with guns. So when the, when the PDP is trying to tell us that APC is in charge, and I ask myself, those vigilantes, what are they doing there? Well, the whole the thing is all, is all accusations and allegations. We cannot say PDP was See, responsible. Look for at it. Apple. I am not. Uh, I am not say, laying yeah. the blame to one person here, to yeah. one party. Yeah. What I'm saying is, the APC have their own error. The PDP have their own error. The deficit comes from both sides. Okay. Like I said, Shaibu, you have been reinstated as the deputy governor. What were you doing there to work on him? What's so special about it? No, you, you cannot also say so. The reason why I'm saying this is this. If the youth were not there, Shabu would have come down, go straight to his office if he was going to his office. Now, if you go outside the airport, the PDP talks, they were there. We saw in the video, the power and the vigilante. When you say the PDP talks, uh, uh, let us be careful now, because uh, there's no Evans, way. Nobody, Evans, nobody see, was carrying a tag see, PDP talk. So okay, now, nobody was carrying a tag. Yeah. Who were those that were shooting? So, I am there? not going to tell you the PDP what? shot the gun, nor the APC, but well, those that shoot were people that came to the airport or those that were outside the airport. Were you there? We saw videos. Oh, not videos. No, we where? saw videos. Did, did you it see? Was did the, 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 the APC youth leader was shot in his leg. Yeah, but, but, but he question, posted the video. We saw it. The question we're asking, did you see any youth that had a gun and branded PDP? Did you see that? What I am saying is this. It's very simple thing. I said... Some came from this side, some came from this side. So they were youth. Okay. That was why I said whatever, whatever happened that day, mm. both sides should be blamed. Okay. No one is coming to tell you, ah, PDP, you have done well. Because some youth that were there were chanting against the APC. Mm. Meanwhile, those within the airport vicinity were chanting for the APC. So I am not talking on, 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 on a fake premises. I'm trying to use, use logic now to tell you that whatever happened there was as a result of those two people coming together. That's why I said, if you are to receive any person at the airport, who is this of packing those youths? What are they doing? The best you could have done is to say, okay, I'm happy, I've been restated. A cultural truth should be there with some of my friends. Did you see Shaibu wife that day at the airport? Did you see Shaibu children, his family members? The youth should sit down and ask themselves some questions. Now, we're talking about the campaign council. There is a problem in the political system of Nigeria. In the campaign council, you have the adversary committee. You have the elders committee. Where you have men that ought to be thinkers come to say, okay, now that the campaign is like this, let's do it like this. The normal routine for campaign is this. I am from Ward 5, APC, Ego. When Melville is coming to campaign in my local government, I am supposed to be there as a leader in my ward. When he's coming to campaign in my ward, I'm supposed to be there. I have nothing doing in Oredo to go and start moving around when he's going to Oredo. Mm. I don't know if you are getting me. Yeah. So the, the, the committee, that are, the elders committee should sit down and restructure what they need to do. You are not in the media, uh, you are not in the campaign media circle. What are you doing posting nonsense online? Now, they are supporters. That's the word that's now, uh, that is being used. These supporters are those that contributed to the problem we, we saw that day. That's why I said, the reason why it's called a campaign council is this. 
you 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 are, you are you are on an edda when you see the way the campaign is going you call these people to get to order mm. this is all you ought to be you are the media they are in charge of the media so if you are talking about the supporters let's be frank who are the supporters yeah the supporters. one i'm coming we should be very truthful here. Yeah, the one that you tell me as supported as those that he made mention to that we are giving money. If I am campaigning for my party, I don't need your money to campaign for him. So if after a campaign, you now come and say, I'm not a divorce with my own, you are not a supporter. Yeah. So yeah. those you call supporters are those that are paid mm. to come and stay at the campaign ground. Okay. Now, uh, uh, Osama Barai, uh, let's look at um, uh, uh, some other issues that maybe if we begin to do this as a people, uh, it may serve as uh, a way of preventing future occurrence. I mean, the airports, I've been to the airport a couple of times, and I do remember that, uh, is, I mean, that, that is a port of entry. It is a port of security, so to say. I mean, any person that can break into that place can, can do something. Now, let's look at what is going on. I, I think the management of that facility now needs to look inward. Uh, we understand that it, this story now is related to what happened. It happened at the exit gate, so the management really doesn't have anything to do with that. But let's look at the whole premises of the airport. Uh, don't you think that the management of the Nigerian airports need to beef up uh, maybe their personal strength, their security-wise and all that, surveillance cameras and all that, so that we should have situations whereby somebody uh, holding a gun or uh, holding deadly weapon can be seen uh, from afar, uh, you know, subsequently in future. Yeah, thank you so much, my brother. Uh, you know, what you are seeing now would have been nice if we, if we were in a sane society. I get it now. Yeah. Nigeria is... Uh, is uh, the legs Nigeria is standing upon is already fractured. Mm. So anything standing there now, if it's not standing well, collapses. Mm. So okay. if you try to bring the airport scenario into view now, you can see that those that came that day might have come with private jets. And you should know anybody that comes with, with private jet to the airport now, not be a ordinary person. Mm. Person can do and not do. That person can tell you that uh, the next flight should not land because of I'm just giving a scenario. I get in it now. Because the person uh, can be at all those or guard the top that can even remove the person that wants to bring that uh, lacuna. So it would have been very, very nice if these things happen to say, okay, the port of entry, this should not happen, that should not happen. I'm even saying that this airport is already, uh, it's already in town already. We should be thinking of something outside Benin. But by the time you mobilize talks from here to somewhere like uh, yeah, whether it is outside no, 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 no. As, 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 as a coming. port of entry, yeah, you mean? as a port of entry, I already answered that. Yeah, I already answered that because why? What you said that is good. If Nigeria was seated on a good tripod, standing the bar. Are you saying Ni yes. are you saying Nigeria is not seated now? Mm. It's not still you know, factually factually not balanced. So what is your party doing the APC? What are they doing to make Nigeria no, to sit? Yeah, up? yeah. But you 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 know uh, Evans if. I cannot be cajoled into telling you about my party want to be a skyscraper. As an individual, I belong to a party. But as a Nigerian, if, my, if anything is not good, you should know I tell you. Yeah, I mean, for a party, so for me to say Nigeria is not well factual, I'm not talking about party. I'm talking yeah. about individuals, all of them. You, know, you cannot, no party now can tell you everything is good. So yeah, we, should right. not, we, not, we should not come here to paint about party. Mm. I guess if we come here to point about party, we will not be talking out as, 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 as a civil Nigerian. Yeah, but we must talk about the government. Yes, the government, the <laughs> government as we speak, is not doing things right. So your party is not doing things right? You did, yes. What, well, am I, am I, am I tell, tell you anything is good before? Yeah, if, I tell you, if I tell you something is good, I now live as I'm getting it. Is that not stupid of me at my age with all this gray hair? My son is already in university. I, I keep telling you something, Benny. That's stupidity. All right, so let's... nothing is, if it's good, I'll tell you it's good. If it's not good, I'll tell you it's yeah, good. Yeah, we apologize for the word stupidity. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's just the truth. So I've told you, I already said it's not sitting on a fractured state. Mm. So even nobody can come to fix it now. What we need to do, first of all, is to go back to the joint board, not even the national attempt issue, on how to fix Nigeria well. Okay. Where, right. Let me give you the secret of it. Yeah. Where a fracture in Nigeria will tell you, 
without them not be president or vice president, election cannot hold. And it's true. Okay. Because Let's of the volume the of votes they tell you they have and they possess. Okay. And to take the risk of changing it is abnormal. It's not possible. Mm. So until we tell ourselves the truth or we design the entire nation. We will keep moving like this until we also move. Since 1960, it has been like this. All right, so the program is still this morning on ITV, uh, Sunday edition.